How's it going, big fella? Well, pretty good. How yeah. you doing? Right on. We're doing good, man. I'm uh um I met you guys at uh, St. Jude a couple times, but we hung out uh we've hung out a little bit at the poker parties uh over the last few years. So we're uh That's right. Black check all the way, baby. <laughs> Hi. That was probably, probably the most dishonest gambling I've ever seen anywhere. The, the dealers were helping everybody win every time. Exactly. We just we just grab and run. You know, I was showing. I think I was showing Cheryl how to cheat cheat the cheat the pile. Just pile chips on when you um as soon as you win. That's the only way I can gamble and take money. If only I could do that in Vegas, I'd be I'd be set. Um, how are you guys doing? How's the Rascal Flats tour? It's really good. We're uh, we're having a ball. We've been out since the beginning of June, and we'll be out here till the end of October. And the guys are awesome, super sweet. You know, you wonder after people have been out on the road as, as many years as them, what it does to you. But they're just really great guys and been really sweet to us. Little big towns out here, and they're awesome. Have their little kids out, and <laughs> you know, young man's really sweet too. So it's it's a really fun tour. You know, that must be a a really fun tour because. You guys have got a great hit on your hands. Are you starting to see uh, some good audience uh, feedback with uh, Too Good to Be True? Oh, yeah, totally. And I love that this next – this is Hannah, by the way. I love that this next single is so rocking. It's so great for live shows. And I love – you know, it just seems to be a lyric. I know it was for me when I first heard it. It was just a lyric that I wanted to learn. You know, it was so rappy, and I loved how well it glued together. It was just a well-written song, and I loved how saucy it was as well. So – I feel like everyone else is connecting with that. Um, and I just love how, you know, people are, now that the album's out, you know, people are learning all the songs. It's so <laughs> great to hear people singing back, you know, skinny dipping. And, uh, you know, we just, we tend to change it up from show to show just to play different songs and, and uh, kind of keep everyone on their toes. But I just love how everyone's learning not only, you know, the single, but everything else. Very cool. We're talking with, uh, Hannah, Dean, and Cheryl from Eden's Edge going to be at the Oregon Jamboree, and we're very excited to have them play on the or- at the Oregon Jamboree on Sunday. Um, hopefully, that's a little a little different. When you're out on tour with a major act, you don't get a whole lot of time on stage. Am I correct? You know, it, it depends on the tour, but uh, we have actually a really great time slot for this tour. We got 25 minutes, and uh, okay, we try to pack it all in. Well, we're going to get a little more out of you, I think, this uh, this weekend at the uh, Oregon Jamboree. A lot more than 25 minutes for sure. Awesome. All right. We're so excited. We can't wait. I'm it's, prepared. it's so have, beautiful up there. We love every time we get to go to the Northwest. We actually we just love it. So you've been through a couple of times. Was it on like radio tours? What were you guys when when were you back through here? Can you remember? Way back when? Uh we did radio tour and then we've uh we've been back through for a few shows. Uh, okay. We played at I think it was Duke's in Portland. Yeah. Um, and uh forget what else. <laughs> they all start running together after a while, right? Do you guys even know where you're at right now? We're in Detroit. Okay. We actually, we woke up. I woke up this morning and I texted one of my friends. It was like seven thirty here. I was like, man, she's like always up. This is really weird. And then I, I like looked at the map to see where we're at. Like, oh, we're in Detroit. I'm in Eastern Time. It's like six thirty there. So I was like, I have to like you know make sure I remember where I am so I'm not waking everyone up. Right. <laughs> yeah, that can throw you off in a hurry. I would imagine that. Uh, I mean, other people have told me that the travel part of of the life, you know, that you guys are living, the travel part's the worst part. Is that true? I mean, you like they they pay you for the travel, but you do the shows for free because that's the fun part, right? You know, the shows are the biggest payoff, and the fans are the biggest payoff of every single day. Uh, sometimes traveling gets really tough. That is true, um, but we do have nothing to complain about because you know what we love the best is being on a bus. All of us. Our band and crew and everything, it's like 11 people on one bus right now. And it's kind of cool because we all, like, cram in and we all have to, you know, be in close corners. But you also connect with people more on that way. And, you know, this is just a special time to appreciate. But sometimes it is true that we go 10, 12-hour days just traveling to show up to play a show. And I think flying, we we don't prefer more than buses. But we love being on the bus because you you can you always have a home, you know, anywhere you are, and you have your bunk, and you can like pack out in your bunk and wake up, and you're in a new city. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beautiful part is you don't have to do the driving. Yeah, it's it's a good thing we're not driving. Uh, <laughs> none of us have a license to drive the bus yet, so it's probably could, a good thing. Yeah, that could be a mess. I I got you. We're talking with Eden's Edge, and they have just kicked some major tail with uh, this album, and uh, Too Good to Be True, doing so good on the charts and doing so well. What's the next single? And I think you were talking about it a little bit. Next single, are we, are we moving towards a particular song? You know, at this point, we're just rocking out on Too Good to Be True. We actually don't know yet what the next single will be. 
Um, but we're so excited, you know, to finally have the album out there, and we're getting a lot of feedback from fans on the album. And uh, another cool thing that uh, we have to mention is that we have a deluxe version of our album at Cracker Barrel. At any Cracker Barrel location across the country or at CrackerBarrel.com, there's a, a deluxe CD that has three extra tracks. They're kind of acoustic tracks that we wrote and produced. I did not know that. I'll have to go get that off the uh, cool. CrackerBarrel.com. That's pretty awesome, man. I liked it. It's yes. like getting some yeah, hidden... Get some biscuits and gravy, you know? Yeah, exactly. Get some secret secret material from uh, Eden's Edge on their deluxe version. I like it. Well, we're looking forward to having you guys out here. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us. Looking forward to seeing you guys again. How's your golf game? Uh, my golf game has not had any work on it since I saw you last time, I'm sure. So it's probably pretty <laughs> terrible. I need to play, though. The, the, the flat guys I'll play, like, every day, but I might yeah. out with them. I think we're working out a little plan, a game plan for getting out and and playing some golf. So we'll have to talk when we uh, when we get up to the festival and see if we can uh, see if we can hit the links. As long as Hannah can drive the golf cart, that's the that's the deal. That's my favorite part. Is that the best deal for you? <laughs> we can do that. We can arrange anything you want. You guys are the stars. You say what you want. We'll do it. You want green M and M's? You got it. Oh Lord! Oh my God! I love it. <laughs> We'll give you the rocks. He does not drive my cart. <laughs> you, no, not on yours. Okay. We'll give you guys the rock star treatment. Thank you for spending a few t- a few, mon- a few minutes with us here on KRKT. We look forward to seeing you at the Oregon Jamboree on Sunday. We can't wait. We'll see you then.